what's up y'all welcome back to another episode of amber tv you were right how you been thank you so much for the support on my last video my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers so please continue to watch but also don't be afraid to send it out to your mama to your bestie shoot log into your grandma's account too and get her to be a subscriber as well every subscriber helps with the mission of healing growth prosperity authenticity and just right putting yourself out there it's all about building that community online and the support not just for me but hopefully my corner of the internet can push you all to engage with each other. You'd be more authentic with yourselves and go after what you want. Please don't forget to like this video and comment one thing you are prioritizing in finishing during this final quarter of the year. Remember, keep breathing deep and keep showing up for yourself. The older I get, the more I want to be intentional about my health. So this green juice is something that my dad used to do when he wanted to regulate his blood sugar, when he wanted to regulate his health. You were right, TJ. Right. And it worked. He would drink like three full-size bottles of this green juice as a fast. And what he would do is he would starve his body from food and just fill it with this nutrient dense green gold juice. And so I just want to show you all the recipe. You were right, TJ. So what I like to do is, you saw me before, I was washing all the vegetables in an apple cider vinegar water bath. I really like to get all the dirt off of them because you don't want any brown dirt pieces in your juice. Then I drain them and put them on a plate. And now you can see me, I am putting the chopped fruits and vegetables into the juicer. And you wanna make sure you don't overcrowd the juicer. You wanna make sure that you are cutting the pieces into small pieces where it makes sense, you know, where they fit. So yeah, a little bit of juice went into this container and now I'm just gonna pour it into this glass. And I'm gonna continue to juice the rest of it, and then eventually I will be pouring both glass containers into a bowl. You were right, TJ. I know you're thinking, why not just juice into the bowl? But sometimes the juicer splatters, so I like to use the little container that came with it because it has a top on it. So I'm gonna put in this cucumber. I'm gonna actually chop it this time because last time it was too thick. So finally, I'm chopping up these final apples. They were kind of tough to push through. You want to make sure if it's too tough to push through that you kind of play with right. it, make sure that it is in the right position to be chopped. Um, turn your juicer on one or on two. And actually, I had a lot of people ask me what kind of juicer I have. And so I'm not going to recommend this juicer because I looked for it online and I couldn't find it. But I would say look for a juicer where you can juice the whole fruit and that doesn't produce a lot of froth. Froth would be that layer of green foam that you all see on the glasses there at the top. Right. Yeah, I try to not make it too foamy, but sometimes you can't help it. So last but not least, we are putting in this kale and I recommend getting the whole kale. I recommend not getting the bag of kale because you get less juice. I'm still trying to actually figure out the best way to juice kale. If anybody in the comments is a fellow juicer and wants to 
let me know. Please comment how you juice your kale. Because as you can see, it got you stuck right, here. Right. But really, that was just system overload. So what I like to do is go dump everything out and try to keep on pushing. Click everything back into place. And now we're gonna just finish the final kale. You see I juiced it. Now I'm pouring the juice into this bowl. Hey, baby, let me tell y'all something. If you are not ready to be cleansed right, out, man. if you are not ready to be back and forth to the room where, we, where the bath is, I say don't do this. But if you're ready to depuff yourself and, you know, release some of that bloating, release some of those toxins, release some of those things, then this would be the best bet for you. I wanted to also let you guys know the benefits of green juicing. It is very nutritious. It helps with your digestion. It helps with detoxification, hydration, skin health, immune system, recovery, weight management. Green juice is typically made from ingredients like kale, spinach, celery, cucumber. So this recipe is kale ginger, green apples, lemon, cucumbers, and I am going to list the ingredients below. But also pro tip, make sure you all clean up right after because vegetables, fruit, they have those natural sugars and those natural juices that can dry and kind of stain your kitchen. And yeah, here's the juice. It's my favorite thing to do now is to just be more health conscious. Who knows how long it'll last, but you know, I'm just taking y'all on the journey with me on my corner of the internet. God bless you and you all be good. See you next time. Bye. You were right, TJ.